press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan and in this video I am going to show you three ways to transfer contacts from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android. With these three methods you can also transfer your photos, videos, music, messages and all the other files from one phone to another. So please watch this video till the very end as I will be explaining each method step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost anything. So with that being said, let's begin. As you can see, here I have two phones, one is my new iPhone 7 and the other one is my old Galaxy S4. As you can see, on my new iPhone, I don't have any contacts, it's completely empty. All my contacts and other files are stored inside this Galaxy S4. Our first method is using Google and iCloud syncing to transfer contacts from one phone to another. To do that, first of all, go to your Android phone settings, then go to accounts and make sure you are signed in with your Google account. Once you're done with that, just tap on your account name. After that, make sure your contacts are syncing. If it's not syncing or it's turned off, you have to turn it on. After your contacts are synced with your Google account, then we can export those contacts to our iCloud account. And to do that, you're gonna have to use your PC or Mac computer. Once your contacts are synced with your Google account, now open up any browser you want. First of all, go to Google Contacts. Now it's going to show you all the contacts that were on your Android phone. Now select the contacts that you want to transfer to your iPhone. In my case, I'm going to select all. To do that, just press Ctrl A from keyboard and it's going to select all the contacts. After that, click on this three dots, then click on export. Now it's going to give you several options. All you need to do is select the last one, which is vCard for iOS contacts. After that, click on export and it's going to give you a VCF file. Once you downloaded this VCF file, now go to your iCloud account that you are or you are going to use with your new iPhone. Once you are signed in, click on contacts. As you can see, I don't have any contacts on my iCloud account. Now all you need to do is click on this gear icon then click on import v card and select the v card that you want to transfer to your iphone you can also just drag and drop this vcf file to this folder and after that your contacts will be imported to your icloud account once you have imported those contacts to your icloud account now go to your iphone or your iphone settings and sign in with your apple id which i've already done just to save your time. Now tap on your profile name, then tap on iCloud and make sure the context is turned on. Now click on merge and it's gonna download all the contacts from your iCloud account to your iPhone. Now let's go back to contacts folder. If the contacts don't appear immediately, then you don't have to worry, just give it some time. It's gonna download all the contacts from your iCloud account. Okay, now you can see these are the contacts that were on my Android phone. The next method is using a third party software to transfer files from one phone to another. With this method, you can also transfer your messages, photos, videos, music and all the other files from one phone to another. In today's video, we are going to use a software called Dr. Phone Switch. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. This software is also available for Mac users. So just go ahead, download and install the software into your computer. After that, open it up. As you can see, this software is world's number one content management software specially designed for Android and iOS devices. With this software, you can do a lot of things like you can recover any kind of deleted files from your Android and iOS devices. You can transfer data between your computer and your phone. You can also back up and restore your phones. You can also remove lock screen of your Android and iOS devices without losing data. And one of my favorite features of the software is backup and restore social media apps like WhatsApp, Viber, WeChat, etc. With this option, you can backup and restore your WhatsApp messages. You can transfer your WhatsApp messages from one phone to another and you can do a lot of cool stuff. So in order to transfer files from one phone to another, you're going to have to select switch option from here. 
So just click on it. Now it's going to ask you to connect your phones to your PC with a USB cable. Before you connect your phone to PC, make sure on your Android phone USB debugging is enabled. To enable USB debugging, go to your phone settings and go to about device. Then tap 7 or 8 times on build number and it's going to enable developer option. Now developer option will appear above about device, so just tap on it and make sure USB debugging is enabled. That's all you need to do on your Android phone. Okay, on your iPhone, you have to turn off Find My iPhone option. You can turn it on once the transfer process is completed. In order to turn off Find My iPhone option, go to your phone settings, tap on your profile name, tap on iCloud, and scroll down. And here's an option by the name of Find My iPhone. Just turn it off. Type your Apple ID password to turn it off. Once your phones are connected to PC, this software will automatically detect them. As you can see on the left side, you will have your source phone. Now this is the phone that you want to transfer data from. On the right side, you will have your destination phone. Now this is the phone that will receive the data. So in my case, I am going to transfer data from my S4 to my iPhone. So I'm just gonna click on flip to change the order. So now you can see source phone is my galaxy s4 and the destination phone is my iphone okay after that select the type of files that you want to transfer in my case i'm gonna select all you can select whichever option you want after that click on start transfer during this process if anything pops up on your phone screen just give the permission or tap ok now this is gonna take time depending on how much files you are transferring from one phone to another. Okay, our last method is using a USB flash to transfer context from Android to iPhone. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you a cool gadget or cool USB flash by which you can transfer your context, photos, videos, and all the other files from one phone to another. And the gadget is called SanDisk Wireless Stick. With this pen drive, you can transfer files between three devices at a time wirelessly. You can get yours from the link given in the description below. This pen drive is available in different sizes from 16 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes. So just check the link in the description for more information. So now let me show you how it works. So as I said before, this USB flash has Wi-Fi functionality in it. In order to turn it on, just press and hold this power button and it's gonna turn on the white LED which means this USB flash is broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal. Now all you need to do is connect both your phones to this USB flash and also you need to install an app in order to connect to this USB flash drive. The app is called SanDisk Connect Drive. So just go ahead download and install this app on both of your Android devices after that now connect your both phones to this USB flash drive to do that just go to your phone settings Wi-Fi and as you can see here is the SanDisk connect Wi-Fi just tap on it connect and do the same thing on your iPhone okay now my both phones are connected to this USB flash drive now go to the phone that you want to transfer data from as I said before with this USB flash drive, you can transfer your photos, videos, contacts, music, and all the other files from one phone to another. In my case, I'm going to transfer my contacts from my Android to my iPhone. To do that, just open up the app that you have just downloaded. After that, as you can see, these are the files that are already stored inside this USB flash drive. In order to transfer contacts, just go to settings and scroll all the way down and tap on backup under the context just tap on it basically what we are doing is we are uploading our contacts to this usb flash drive after that we are going to download those contacts to this iphone okay now just select all the contacts then click on backup and it's gonna backup all the contacts okay now it's done once it's done, now go to your iPhone. Now open up the same app that you have just downloaded. Now go to this three dots, go to settings. 
now scroll all the way down now this time select restore do not choose backup because we have already backed up our contacts from android phone now tap on restore and it's gonna show you the backup file just tap on it and tap on restore and it's gonna restore all the contacts to your iphone okay now let me show you how you can transfer other files like photos videos documents from your android to your iphone or iphone to android now go to the phone that you want to transfer photos or videos from so in my case i'm going to transfer photos from android to iphone to do that just tap on this plus sign and it's gonna load all the photos from your phone now select the photos that you want to transfer so in my case i'm just gonna select these tap on select destination you can upload those pictures to this usb flashes main folder you can also create a new folder and paste those files inside that folder so i'm just gonna upload to this usb flash drive okay now it's done once the files are uploaded now go to the phone that you want to download this files from transferring files doesn't need internet connection so you don't have to worry if you have limited internet connection now you should see the files that you have just copied so these are the files so i'm just going to select them oops once you're done with your selection just tap on this upload icon then tap on save to camera roll and it's going to save those pictures to your iphone's camera roll so let's go and see as you can see these are the pictures that were transferred from my android phone so there you have it guys that is how you can transfer contacts from one phone to another please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below and if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel with notification on and i'll catch you on the next one have a wonderful day